Qualche mese fa, quando è stato presentato per la prima volta, lo studio Select ha fatto il giro del mondo perché ha dimostrato l'efficacia di semaglutide utilizzato al dosaggio antiobesità di ridurre del 20% gli eventi cardiovascolari. Qui a Venezia, al 31 congresso europeo dell'obesità, sono state presentate delle nuove sottoanalisi e noi ne parliamo col professor John Dinfield per farci spiegare questi dati relativamente agli eventi cardiovascolari. Professor Dinfield, which is the main message of the SELECT study that have been presented last year? The, the SELECT study was the very large study of more than 17,000 patients who had pre-existing heart disease, who were either overweight or obese. And it asked the question, could addition of semaglutide, a GLP-1 receptor agonist, improve the cardiovascular outcome on top of background therapy for their heart disease? And the answer was that for the patients in SELECT, there was a 20% reduction in the primary endpoint called MACE, or Major Adverse Cardiovascular Events, in the population who got the semaglutide to convert to those who got placebo, which is a very strong improvement, unexpected, in patients who were on effective background therapy for their heart disease. After this first publication, you did uh, many sub-analyses that are going to be published very soon and you have presented here in Venice. Which, which type of sub-analysis you did? There are multiple sub-analyses going on of this very important study. The one that is of most interest perhaps to the clinicians and the patients is can we identify based on the patient's characteristics, particularly their weight, which patients are likely to do better and does the weight loss that they achieve in the study predict the cardiovascular benefit? And that's the study I presented here today. Which were the results, the new results, what you have seen? Perhaps surprisingly, when we looked at the weight characteristics of the patients who entered the trial, there was no relationship between the baseline measures of adiposity, their BMI, their waist circumference, all the measures of obesity that we were measuring in the patients going into the trial, and the cardiovascular benefit. That was interesting in and of itself. But equally interesting is the fact that the rate of improvement, the amount of weight that these patients got in the study did not predict the cardiovascular benefit that we saw in the trial. So that suggests that it is not simply a matter of managing their weight, but actually something else is going on from this drug to improve their cardiovascular outcome. This is a course of great interest and a research that we're ongoing, ongoing research that we have to do to try to understand what it is that is improving the cardiovascular outcome. You have no explanation so far, which are the, the idea that you have regarding this new effect of semaglutide? Yes, so semaglutide and the GLP-1s are probably a class of drugs initially developed for glucose control, now for weight control, which are doing something to the biology of some of these important chronic diseases. It's like cardiovascular disease. Maybe it's an effect on the directly on the artery itself, a benefit on the arterial wall. Maybe they're doing subtle things to the patient's behavior, not only how much they eat, how much weight they lose, but what they eat is changing when you take these drugs. So there are lots of potential explanations, but the bottom line is that it's not simply a matter of just losing weight. Now that's quite important for the doctor who is prescribing these drugs, but also important for the patient. The doctor can, with confidence, give these drugs on top of background medication to his heart disease or her heart disease patients and expect a benefit even when their weight is not particularly elevated. That's an important point for the practitioner. Equally important, though, for the patient, they can know that they could still expect to get a cardiovascular benefit even for some reason they don't lose very much weight. So the patient asks us, is it the weight loss doctor that I have to achieve to get the cardiovascular benefit? And the answer is no. You can achieve the benefit even with a modest amount of weight loss or even no weight loss. Going deeply on this concept, which is very important, which is the place in therapy today considering the uh, cardiovascular effect of semaglutide and which could be in the future considering this new um, new way of action of the drug that you are supposing, but it, it explains uh, this, uh, this, this effect uh, who goes beyond uh, the weight loss. So the question you're asking is where is the place of this drug going to be in treatment in a large number of patients is clearly not yet completely understood. 
As we understand more about the drug and how these drugs are working, we may find that there are particular subgroups of patients who do well compared to others, but we may find that for a lot of people who are overweight or obese and who have heart disease or even other diseases perhaps like kidney disease, that they will get a benefit from these drugs on top of their traditional treatment. And that's really quite exciting for the way in which we can manage large numbers of people in the population who have chronic diseases associated with adverse weight profiles. In a couple of weeks, we're going to have another trial uh, with semaglutide published. It's called the FLOW trial, which looks at patients with kidney disease and looks at the same drug. And we anticipate very favorable results from that trial as well. And that will open up another area of prescribing for these, this class of drugs in people with another chronic established disease.